Welcome back everyone. Many Wisconsin golfers are itching to get out on the course now that the weather is warming up. The game saw a resurgence in the state last year with a 20% increase in number of rounds played compared to the year before. And according to the National Golf Foundation, across the U.S., nearly 25 million people played golf on a course last year. But only about 5 million were minorities. Some local golfers are trying to increase diversity by spreading their love for the game. Early March in Wisconsin. Like when somebody yells out four, you know, you know how to respond to that. Means snow on the ground and temperatures in the low 30s. However, if the sun's out, golfers are out, even beginners. Did everybody get the, uh, the email with the golf terminology? Richard Badger is here to help. What do you love about golf? Oh, Susan, what is there not to love about golf? It's all about rhythm. It's all about tempo. Golf is the best and worst relationship I've ever been in. Badger shares that passion with others as part of We Black, We Golf, a Facebook group started by Martin Marshall Jr. It's one of the greatest sports I've ever played. Martin first created the group last year because he couldn't find anyone to play with after picking up the game at 42. You came into golf kind of later in life. Why, why do you think it took so long? Uh, lack of exposure. You know, it, um, it wasn't something that was promoted heavily in my, my community. Uh, coming up, everybody put a football or a basketball into your hand, but, but nobody ever put a set of golf clubs into your hand. You brought your dad. I did. Yeah, yeah. And you're 66 and just learning how to play golf. Yes. I was more of a fisherman. The group has grown in popularity with nearly 400 members. They organized this eight-week clinic to grow the game in the African-American community, a segment of the population underrepresented in the sport. Things have changed in a great way over the years, and that's a great thing, but there still is this disconnect, this divide. And so what we want to do at We Black, We Golf is we want to make the game accessible. So what is it about golf that you think is intimidating or could be intimidating to people in the black community? I think the perception of cost, um, the cost of playing the game, the cost of learning how to play the game. Um, I think there's this overall intimidation that if I go to a golf course or if I go to a country club, I might be the only minority there. Well, the next critical part of the grip is don't hold the club too tight. Tamara Minifee Tribble signed up for the clinic to try something new with her husband and teenage son. I thought it was just something rich people play. I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me, and it just seemed real intimidating. But when they put the email out about this group, and I thought, why not? Now that you're here, do you feel like it is something for rich people, or is it intimidating? Um, I was shocked at how expensive the clothes are, but no, not intimidating at all. It's really fun. Um, there's no running. Along with the fun of golf, Badger says African Americans who don't play golf are missing out on the sport's health and networking benefits. Oftentimes being the only minority in the room is not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you are representing yourself well in that environment. I tell people all the time, if you're, if you're playing 18 holes of golf and you're walking that golf course, you're walking anywhere between five to seven miles. Yeah. If you play horribly, you could walk up to eight and 10 miles. <laughs> <laughs> The eight and That's 10 mile walk. Yeah, you don't want to have those. Well, 13 people are signed up for that first clinic that you saw. Now, Richard Badger there says even though the group is named We Black, We Golf, it is open to everyone who would like to learn more about the game. And they are working towards becoming a nonprofit organization and do have clinics planned for kids later this spring. For more information, you can go to this story at TMJ4.com.